Hey, today we're going to cover a, uh, a 308 semi-automatic gas-operated rifle. Now this one here is made by Century Arms and it is marked R1A1 Sporter 308 caliber made in USA. Um, now apparently on this Century Arms you can get a, a good one or a bad one but we're going to shoot this today uh, five or six different types of ammo and to be honest with you I did have to tweak this a little bit and I'll show you later what I did but this does have an adjustable gas system now it's adjustable from 0 all the way up to 12 now 0 is completely closed 12 is all the way open 12 if you put this on 12 basically you're gonna have a single shot because you're not gonna have enough gas to work the action so what I found on this one is I keep it set on 3 and 3 seems to work pretty good. So let me show you the ammo we're going to shoot and uh, get started. Okay, we're going to shoot the uh, tall ammo. This is made in uh, Russia. Now it's a 150 grain full metal jacket. We're going to shoot the wolf ammo. It's also 150 grain full metal jacket made in Russia. We're going to shoot silver bear 308. That is a 145 grain full metal jacket, also made in Russia. And I got a military surplus here, made in Venezuela in 1990. And we'll shoot those. And then I have some Lake City, some Lake City rounds we're going to shoot. And I got a couple tracers we, we might uh, put down range. So let's get started with the test. Okay, I think uh, think we're going to start off with the tall ammo, see how it does. Now I'm going to shoot 10 to 12 rounds of each, so we're going to put 50 to 60 rounds through this, and uh, let's see how it does. Now, I'm not, I'm not going for accuracy, because this gun actually shoots pretty good, but the main thing is uh, reliability, because if you have a gun that's not reliable, I mean, it's, it's a club, that's all it is. So let's, uh, let's get started, see what uh, we got here. That tall angle shoots pretty good. Let's try the uh, Silver Bear. Now if you do have a problem with your gun, one thing you want to try is uh, different magazines. Now, alright, see what we got. Yeah, those work pretty good. Well, let's see what's next. Uh, let's go with the wolf. Again, if you're having problems, first thing you want to do is try a different magazine. If that don't work, then uh, you might have to take to a gunsmith. Well, those worked. It didn't lock back on the last round, but that could be the magazine. All right, let's try this uh, Venezuela stuff. See how that works. Boy, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is smoking pretty good. Love this gun. Okay, I'm gonna have to load up a couple magazines and uh, we'll try this Lake City and uh, a couple of rounds of Tracer. Okay, Lake City. I love doing that. Well, that was 10 rounds. All right, I got four tracers here. We're going to shoot them out at 
probably the 300 yard berm out there. Hopefully you can see them. Well, I couldn't see them. Hopefully the camera caught them. But you know what? I'll tell you. One thing I had to do on this, I did have to polish the feed ramp on it. Before that, I was having quite a few hang-ups, so if you don't know what a feed ramp is, or you've never polished anything, don't touch it. Take it to a gunsmith, have them polish the feed ramp. It shouldn't cost a whole lot and uh, be well worth the money. So if you have another problem with this gun, you're, uh, that's a little warm, you have a gas piston in here. Now this piece right here, you can take it out and turn it around. If you do that, uh, you're blocking off the gas system, so you turn this into a single shot rifle. So you may check this plug right here. If it's upside down, the gun's not going to work. It's going to fire one time, but that's it. So first thing, if you have a problem, switch out magazines, try a different ammo, and then if that don't work, then uh, take it to a gunsmith, have them take a look at it. But you know what? I just put what. 54 rounds through this and uh, as you see not not one problem with it really like this gun if you get a chance to buy one I wouldn't hesitate to to recommend it but you might have to get it tweaked a little bit but uh, overall pretty good gun okay we'll see you guys next time what you got there Zach 308 308, huh? Can you handle it? Yep. Let's see. Wanna shoot that little cave? Yeah. She's empty. Empty already? Yep. Alright, put safety on. Good job.